Strategy number three, be the first team on the court to hit a volley. Okay, what is a volley? Any ball you take out of the air before the bounce. If you're the first team to hit a volley, your chances of winning the point have dramatically gone up. Okay, you know, advanced doubles teams are always trying to get to the net because they know that's where they're going to win the point. That's where they can put points on the board. Whereas beginners, intermediates, they prefer to stay at the baseline. Now, think about this. When you go forward, when you press forward, and you're going to the net, you're being offensive, you're being aggress aggressive. When you stay back on the baseline, basically you're in defensive mode, you're playing defense, okay? Now, which one would you rather be playing, offense or defense? Well, remember, offense is what puts points on the board. So you've got to learn to move forward and be that team that hits the first volley. I'm going to give you three reasons why hitting that first volley is so important. Okay, on average, two players can cover about 20 feet, okay, as a doubles team. Now, a <clears throat> A doubles court is 36 feet wide, so that means that a team can cover about 56% of the court. Now that's only true if both players are at the net side by side. Okay, so if you're in any other position, one up, one back, you're exposing a lot more court. So that's one reason why you want to press forward. And I know you're thinking, yeah, but my opponents are going to lob. We're going to talk about that later, but the fact that they have to lob just proves the point of how much pressure they feel. They feel they have nowhere to hit the ball, so they have to try and go over your head. Okay, so pressing forward you can cover more court and you're putting pressure on your opponents. They're going to feel, where are we going to hit now? That's why a lot of times they try the lob. But if they're trying the lob, you should be very happy about that because number one, it's a difficult shot. And number two, they're going to give you a lot of easy smashes. Okay, the number two reason of why pressing forward and going to the net is so beneficial is because it makes your opponents hit lower percentage shots. Now, let's cover that lob question now. <clears throat> As an example, what would you rather be hitting? A rocket ground stroke aimed at somebody's midsection or a nice, soft, easy lob that's just inviting your opponents to crush it with an overhead. You see, in fact, the lob is a low percentage shot. When you move forward, you put an insane amount of pressure on your opponents. They realize they don't have much court to hit into, less court now that you're up at the net side by side. So now they have to hit this delicate lob or they have to go for a passing shot or dip it at your feet. These are precise shots that are tough to hit under pressure. The number three reason of why pressing forward is so important in doubles is because it takes away your opponent's time. It gives, it gives them less time to react, okay? Less time for them to make choices and less time for them to execute the shot. Let me illustrate it this way. We've all probably hit against the wall, okay? Now imagine you're hitting against the wall 
and you have to move back, you know, let's say 20 feet so that you have time to react. Okay, if you're too close to the wall and you're trying to hit ground strokes at a decent pace, you know, the ball's coming back too fast. So let's say we start at 20 feet back, but then imagine that the wall keeps getting closer and closer to you. The ball's coming back faster and faster. You have less time to react, less time to get ready to execute the shot. So when you're out playing, I don't want you to think that you necessarily have to hit harder, but you and your partner should become the wall. Just keep moving in and hitting those nice solid volleys and you're taking away time from your opponents. The balls are coming back so fast. So that's the third reason. So you've got to learn how to become a good, solid volleyer and be able to hit overhead smashes. Okay, a great way to work on your volley by yourself, use a wall. Now, I want you to start back pretty far from the wall. That way you can hit a nice hard ball so you'll be in that position where you have to hit up on the volley. Because remember, to be a good doubles player, you have to be able to hit volleys from mid-court, that so-called no-man's land. So start back, and then after every volley, keep moving forward. Make sure you work both sides, forehand and backhand, and just keep trying to sustain the rally. Now when you do this drill, you're also going to get a lot of half volleys. You know, those balls that you pick up on the short hop. Remember, on half volleys, don't scoop. You want the racket vertical at contact or slightly closed. You can actually close the face a little bit on a half volley and that will ensure that you don't pop the ball up. You can even work on your overhead smash. You can even work on your high volleys, you know, those shots that are in between an overhead and a standard, you know, lower volley. Those high volleys can be tough shots. You can work on those as well. And you can even work on that high backhand smash where you're a little bit late, you've got to hit the backhand and you're hitting that smash. Okay, the purpose of this drill is to sustain the rally. You're working on your volley consistency. If you have to hit a half volley, go ahead and keep the rally going for as long as possible.
Okay, same thing in this drill, only you're starting back further more in no man's land. You have to be able to hit volleys in no man's land to be a good doubles player. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. To get a copy of David Barron's book, Double Down, please check the description box below. There's a link to get that book. An awesome book, I highly recommend it. Keep your doubles simple and you're gonna play off the charts. Please subscribe to the channel, give me a like, give me a thumbs up, and please share that video with your friends. All the best to your tennis success. Take care.